What's up, everybody? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and This Bitch. Join me as I read you your motherfucking lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirits, you are welcome in to this reading. You must sage the cards for all of my gods. Now, y'all know that was a strong ass hit, baby, okay? So, let's see what's going down in the universe and the atmosphere. And while you guys are here, make sure you hit that motherfucking like button and that share and subscribe button. And it's my fuck, okay? Hit that ding, personalize this hoe. <laughs> All right, guys, I am here to give you the message. As I was uh, pre-shuffling the cards, I felt like a lot of you guys could have been going in and doing some open heart motherfucking surgery, okay? And cutting motherfuckers all the way out. Um, I did get the Will of Fortune. And I also got the Ten of Swords. So this is definitely some sort of uh, turning point for some of you guys. But this also could be luck or destiny speeding up as well too. Now, when I got the Will of Fortune, I was looking at it and I'm like, is somebody on time? Is there something about timing that could be here? So, let's see what happens. And at the very end of this video, I will be announcing the winners of the New Year's free readings. Um... I also am going to be doing the um, elemental read at the very end. So stay tuned for that. So here we go. I did see the, uh, there's that. Okay. So I'm already getting, some of you guys are going through a lot of um, just cutting motherfuckers out. Okay. You might have had to go in and slice and dice. Okay. Cut a heart out. Cut out some kidneys and shit. Okay. Definitely cutting off some oxygen, okay? <laughs> but I feel like for some of you guys, um, you're not going to let your fears get the best of you in this motherfucker, okay? You guys are some strong-willed motherfuckers is what I'm picking up. So, I feel that um, for a lot of you all, this could be that there's a lot. there was a lot of anxiety or restlessness towards a situation where timing could have been very important, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look in a book reading rainbow. Here we go. Give me the overall energies that they need to know about. We have the Knight of Wands and the Hermit energy. So I feel like somebody's not making any action or taking any action. Definitely getting some alone time. Um, like I was saying with that Wheel of Fortune, on the Wheel of Fortune, there is a um, some books, okay? So it looks to me like there could have been some scholarly things that was going on. Timing is definitely on your side for a lot of you guys. With this hermit energy here, this is you going within and doing some research, some knowledge. I feel like you know that there's something you know you and or your person is not moving forward towards. And you have to definitely find out, uh, you know, how you're going to shed that light in between each other. I do have the Ace of Cups here. So... I get that someone has, uh, you know, put in some judgment or could have put in judgment between you and your partnerships. A lot of criticism, okay? A lot of doubt and a lot of guilt that some of you guys have put towards your relationships. I feel a lot of you guys are nesting here with this uh, with this hermit energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo as well. I'm also getting Leo and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio so far. So... I feel some of you guys are preparing for um, a new beginning here. Okay, you have the High Priestess and the Magician. Um, when I was doing the pre-shuffle, I had gotten the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower. I was, they were just flashing by me. I also got um, 
The Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, the Ten of Swords, okay? So I'm getting that a lot of you guys, you put a lot of endings towards people. But this is you coming into your magical stance, your magical power. You've done a lot of research. You've done a lot of things over the years. You motivated yourself. You got yourself out of a lot of situations that you didn't think you'd ever be able to overachieve in this mother. Okay. So I do feel with the high priestess, the magician, and also the hermit, there could be a lot of magical things going around, a lot of mystical mystical powers. Okay. Um, hermit energy. This is you sitting in your knowing, knowing the truth, understanding shit. Okay, no, know, knowing what tricks of the trade that people have. I'm also getting whatever actions that people have um, manipulated. You guys know the truth to that shit. Some of you guys are turning away from love as well too. Did you see the uh, ten of wands? I'm getting some of you guys could be sitting, uh, thinking about celibacy as well. But I'm definitely picking a lot of mis a mystified energy here. So with this Empress Three of Cups, I feel some of you guys are afraid of moving forward. This could be moving forward with new motherfuckers as well, too. But like I said, you guys are going in um, and finding what's going to work for you. Okay, so I do feel Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. Somebody's not willing to work in this situation, really to pinpoint their issues for some of you guys in love. Okay, but I also feel like... Um, respectably there is definitely some financial income that's coming your way this could be a handout i feel some of you guys are overlooking any emotions uh once you receive this money or once you receive this income that you'll be getting with the six of pentacle energy here you're going to be seeing who's standing above the rest so a lot of magical energy here three of cups as well so there could be something with family and friends or some sort of reunion or friendship that's being rekindled here Okay, I also see grape or wine, okay, and alcohol in the cup, but I'm seeing music and a celebration, okay, some of you guys are definitely coming out of your head, so let's see what is clarifying these energies and what's taking place next in the next, let's say in the next 48 hours, okay, let's see what's going down. Give me the overall energies of what's next to come in the atmosphere. Definitely could be dealing with a Tauran energy. Okay. I do feel like some of you guys are dealing with a big ass motherfucking pouty baby that is withdrawn. Um, they're definitely a, a negative energy as well. Okay. With the three of swords. Could be a third party situation where somebody's had a lot of heartbreak, pain. Okay, disappointment, anger, unleashed emotions. But with that four of wands here, there's a celebration of freedom. Okay, some sort of excitement. Four of pentacles as well could be dealing with Torin, like I said, and the tower. So there is a sudden change coming. There could be a revelation, some sort of plans that might be disrupted. But I'm seeing that um, this could be somebody's creating some sort of order with that four of pentacles as well. Uh, like I said, someone could be very stagnant, trying to be very possessive and in control of a situation, but somebody's emotions and plans have changed here with this tower. All right. Definitely, uh, letting everything go, or you could be in that realization of truth with this tower energy here. I'm also getting two of cups. There's an attraction coming up, okay? This is with that tower. There's a shakeup of someone's emotions, whether they liking you, they disliking your motherfucking ass. Like I said, somebody is going in. They have done some open heart surgery to dissect some shit, okay? This could be you trying to figure out how you're going to share a union ship, how you're going to be an intrus. Are you working together? Or are you wanting to work with a motherfucker, okay? Is you, do you feel like a motherfucker is going dis to disrupt your plans, okay? But I'm also getting with the page of swords. This could be somebody... Oh, like I said, trying to disrupt what's going on, okay? Or somebody might be facing those facts. This could be dealing with cameras. I'm also seeing somebody hacking as well, too. Could be computers. This could be on phones, technology. This also could be, uh, uh, I'm getting something that was yours, okay? That could have either came in the mail or it could have came um, 
It could have came by way of uh, text message or through phone, telephone lines, okay? I'm getting with the Page of Swords. There's somebody that is trying to hack into your things with this Nine of Pentacles right next to it. You got somebody that's either trying to figure out what's in your pictures, okay? I also feel like how you're comfortable, what you're doing while you're shopping, what you're doing in your leisure is what the Nine of Pentacles is all about. But with that Page of Swords, I'm getting a lot of um, hacker energy here. So, coming up, somebody's got some plans, some ideas that are developing. This could be a lesson or something that you're being taught, okay? Like I said, this could be uh, you acknowledging another person or someone acknowledging you or someone hiding that as well, okay? Like I said, there is some sort of secret here or there is somebody who's keeping to themselves. But I'm also getting, for some of you guys... Um, with this tower energy, this is a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I'm also getting with the Queen of Wands energy here. For some of you guys, um, there could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries that's watching you. But I definitely feel like here coming up, there is a new beginning, okay? Somebody's either keeping uh, uh, the, the secret that somebody's on top, okay? Or um, it could... <laughs> It could go either way, but I'm getting with this Ace of Wands here. There's somebody that's getting ready to activate something, especially with this Queen of Wands. It could be that you're active, okay, or there's a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that is inspiring you, but I'm also seeing that there could be some sex or somebody that's showing you some real confidence or you just standing in your motherfucking confidence with this Ace of Wands here. Also with the Six of Wands, could be some things that's taking place online that you don't know about or some things that's hidden underneath the surface. But with the moon here, I feel like this could be somebody who's wandering in, in their energy and also needing to do some shadow work or their inner demons could be needing to uh, shine, okay? <laughs> but I feel like somebody, this could be even um, celebrities online, okay? Or somebody's telling the business. I'm also getting somebody playing telephone, okay? So let's see what's coming up. I'm going to get the Romance Angels to see what's coming up. And then we'll do the Elemental Read. What's coming up in love? What's new in love? Definitely a lot of... Um, now, the Ace of Wands can mean anything. Music. It can mean um, passion. Okay. It also could mean for some of you guys, you have a lot of drive here. Okay. Or somebody's wanting to activate their energy towards you because you, you deserve love. You are lovable, okay? And there is definitely something that is worth waiting for, okay? You also have unrequited love. You could have found out that you had, like I said, you had to go in, do some open heart surgery, open brain surgery, open a brain up and find out that it was nothing but one brain cell left and uh, half of a piece of dust <laughs> that was surviving <laughs> That was surviving in there. Unrequited love and past life. So some of you guys have ended those karmatic cycles. The karmatic cycles could have been past twin flames, soulmates, things of that nature. But I feel like this is somebody you felt you couldn't just let go of, especially in the past or someone that you had this toxic hold on to, or it could be vice versa. It was just a time to go. Okay. But it's saying that for a lot of you guys, there's some unrequited love that you've had to let go of some control issues, or somebody was showing you that they were trying to control some things here. Okay. But coming up in love, I see it's, it's safe for you to love, take care of yourself. Okay. Because you could be having to heal your own issues, healing yourself. All right, but you have a decision to make very, very soon. This could be with a soulmate, some sort of engagement or some sort of kickback or a sit back with you and your soulmate is what I'm getting here. So definitely taking the time to either get to know each other or you might be finding someone that is your soulmate. But I'm also picking up that some of you guys need to trust that the universe is on your side. Okay, I'm also seeing some sort of reconciliation that's coming underway. It could be somebody who's under some co sort of codependency spell, or this could be um, somebody who's still holding on. Okay, but there's definitely some attraction here. So you guys, like I said, you might be dealing with two different energies for some of you all, or this is you coming out of, um, you know, dealing with one and then moving into the next cycle is what I'm getting for new love, but definitely a reconciliation because somebody is uh there there is somebody here that is fighting for you. Okay, devil energy here. Ten of cups. 
So, yeah, Knight of Swords, the fight is real. Okay, Moon Energy, they could be hiding their feelings. Yeah, there's some messages or somebody's communicating with you. They could be finding out that there was a third party situation with this moon energy here or somebody that's hiding their true feelings. But I get with this Ace of Swords, they're going to be communicating with you. This could be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm also getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Definitely a lot of fire signs here. Okay, with this Queen of Wands as well. I'm getting someone from the past. But, you know, a lot of you guys definitely are ending and closing some cycles and Starting something new here with this world at the bottom of the deck. All right. So you've done your surgery. There's something being activated because you've learned your lessons. Okay. Now, I do feel like for some of you guys, um, there was a dark night or somebody that was very dark around you. Okay. That veil is definitely lifted up with this Ace of Wands here. Okay, something that was that something that is going to stimulate you and inspire you as well. Fire signs. Let's see what's up, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Next couple of days, we got not good, shy, and narc. Fuck. And fix it. So some of you fire signs could be dealing with a narcissistic energy, or someone could be shy. But it's definitely saying there's some truth that's going to be found out that's not really good. A narcissistic energy. You got my moon card here. So I feel like you got a reality check, but you got a lot of talent. So keep it motherfucking pushing. Okay. And I do get that. You know, a lot of you guys um, have growth and determination that's going to succeed over any other bullshit or any other dramatics or drama that's going down. Okay. Um, but I do get that. You know, in the next couple of days, a lot of you guys need to just take a back seat, okay, and let your let your inhibitions run wild. That's what I'm seeing here. Also could be a hustle or some sort of hustling situation going on. Could be making some motherfucking money up in this bitch or getting your hustle on as the day goes by. Okay, so let's see what's popping to my air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarian. Next couple of days, hustle is coming out this bitch. All right. We also got lay down. So you might be hustling back and forth, needing to take a nap. You also might be dealing with somebody that needs to lay their motherfucking ass down. You might have to show them how you being how you need to get rid of the toxic or you see that you've let go of the toxic. Definitely could be some haters that's around. For some of you guys, I feel like there's some haters that's around on the low. Okay, yeah, the moon card is coming out. So everybody's got some sort of secrets, okay, and information that's coming out. This could be... With timing, somebody is like, prove the bullshit. And I feel a lot of you guys might uh, be trying to give in to somebody's toxicity. So just be careful of that. But you got real information coming to you. So know how to utilize that shit. All right. Let's see what's going down. We got growth and determination at the bottom of the deck. Air signs. Let's see what's up to my water signs. For the next couple of days. I did see the blackout card. So some of you guys might be in a blackout. Okay. Them lights might be out. Okay. Or you might be coming to a realization that somebody's lights is out <laughs> and they elevate and they elevator don't go to the top. Okay. A light bulb, um, was not made by, uh, Thomas Edison. <laughs> you got somebody's daddy here, water sign. So somebody's daddy is around cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You got somebody that's toxic. Straight like that, all right? Some of you guys could be dealing with eating with some, eating some food, vibing out, all right? But I get that somebody's trying to fix something here. It says, sit your motherfucking ass down. So somebody needs to sit on down. Water signs. I'm also might be someone who's trying to fix some things, but it's saying, take your time. Don't be giving everybody. Don't be moving forward with everybody, okay? You got growth and determination here as well. There was something that just flipped out. We got side piece and transportation. So lovers and friends, somebody's truth is definitely coming out or their secrets are definitely coming out, all right? So let's see what's up to my earth sign. Something just flew out. Let me see what card that was. So I do get, it's a lot of secrets that's coming out. Here it is. So here we go. Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We got fluid. Okay, flipping. So stay fluid, stay flexible. 
You also could be dealing with somebody that might be um, two-faced or interchangeable. All right, but it says, I see you. Okay, somebody is definitely watching this situation, could be watching you. All right, I see somebody is keeping some secrets in. You got information and mental health. So yeah, everybody's got some sort of secret that's coming out or this could be information that's coming to you or someone was hiding the truth or there is something that's unveiled to you that you did not know before. Okay, now this also could be information as well. How, you have the tower energy, um, but I do get with the tower here, this is the dusty unveiling themselves. I don't know why the earth signs always get the dusty. I don't know what's going on with that. Y'all tell me in the comments down below. Shit. So, yeah, there's definitely some secrets that's coming out. It could be with a fire sign, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But like I said, you went in with open heart surgery and took your heart out of the situation and put your logic into that much into that motherfucker. OK, now I do get um, some of you guys got a lot of money coming your way as well, too. So be wise. OK, hermit energy, uh, magician and also the um, high priestess indicates to me. You guys have a lot of magical powers within you, in your pointer fingers, in your mind, okay? In your third eye chakra, in your crown chakra, whatever, baby. But it's a lot of information that's getting ready to come out, secrets that are coming out. Some of you guys are going to hold on to your motherfucking boots because I feel you are already prepared for this, but you already know you ready, baby, okay? You ready for your weapons of destruction, <laughs> all right babies i love you guys all so much i hope that this video helped i feel like some of you guys already know you uh fighting a demon i'll be telling y'all this in y'all videos but at the same time you know sometimes you got to go through those life lessons but a lot of you guys are ready you got your armors your your arrows your guns your knives whatever okay that you need to protect yourselves and i feel like for some of you guys you got major love coming in this could be sexual love as well too so Honey, don't be in your emotions too much because you need to give uh, whoever this who shot John is, honey, some sort of um wet, wet, okay, or some lubricant, whatever the case. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. <clears throat>